Hey all, this is Motherload458. It's been a while since I've made my last video and I've been receiving quite a lot of positive feedback and people asking me to do a tutorial video on how to flash an official 5.0.2 lollipop on the Xperia Z. So here it is folks, this is what you've been waiting for. The process is not that complicated at all. Uh, the first thing you'll need to do is to download the ROM required that you want to flash. Here is the link, I'll post it in the description, the link number one will be the best link for the Xperia Z C6603 and the second link in the description is going to be for the C6602 users which you can download from the XDA developers site. You can download which any of these you want although I do recommend you downloading the first and the second one here. Second step to download the flash tool program which is required in order to flash this. You can download from the third link in the description. Now this is perhaps one of the most important steps, although many people oversee it and skip it, thinking that it's not important. But you need to download the USB drivers in order for the computer to recognize your phone. You can download them from the fourth link in the description. What you need to do now is enable the USB debugging from your device. Head into the settings and developer options and tick the USB debugging. If you can't find the developer options tab, you need to uh, first uh, get into the about device and then uh, multiple tap on the build number in order for the developer options to be active. I can't do it since I'm already a developer. Extract the previously downloaded USB drivers to your desktop, connect your Xperia Z to PC and head into device manager in order to install these drivers. The yellow triangle next to Xperia Z means that the uh, update is not uh, properly installed. So that's why you're going to choose from it manually and select the downloaded USB drivers, which you've just extracted. After you've completed it successfully, you can now start the flashing process. Start the Flash Tool app and at this point this might appear on your phone. You should tick Always Allow from this computer and head to OK which will enable the USB bugging forever whenever you connect it to your PC. After confirming that notice from your phone, this should appear on Flash Tool, meaning that it has successfully recognized your phone. Click on the black uh, flash and select the flash mode and hit OK. Now you need to browse the ROM uh, which you've downloaded in the first place when we started this video. You find it where you've saved it and you hit OK. Don't uh, untick anything from here. You just hit OK. Now you're waiting until the flashing process starts. Unplug your device from the PC, uh, turn it off and then uh, since the Xperia Z doesn't have the back button you need to press the volume down button and this is very important. Just press the volume down button, hold it down and while holding down plug in the USB cable that's gonna start the flashing process. Just unplug your device after the flashing process completes and boot it up for the first time. It's gonna take a little longer but you needn't worry about this. Thanks for watching my video, please subscribe to my channel, like this video and comment on this video, it means a lot to me.